Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSets that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bots in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Amazon exclusive Autobot Alliance Prowl and Ironhide. I've had this pre-ordered since July and they finally arrived today in spectacular shape actually. So taking a quick look at the packaging, you've got Prowl and Ironhide in a battle scene there on the front. That kind of carries over here on the side. Back of the package, we got Prowl and, Prowl and Ironhide, both in robot and vehicle mode. Side of the box here, we got the Earthrise artwork. So I cannot wait to open this up and see what these guys look like. The one drawback with this packaging, you don't know what you're going to get until you actually open the package. So without further ado, let's get this duo cracked open and check them out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Prowl and Ironhide all open and out of the packaging, you'll see they do come with a sheet of instructions. And just like all the modern Transformer figures, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. You also get a white blaster for Prowl, and that's all he gets. He doesn't get any shoulder launchers. He just gets this one blaster. And I believe that's to make him more cartoon accurate because in the Generation 1 cartoon, he didn't have the shoulder launchers. But as you can see, his blaster fits in his hand perfectly. Ironhide comes with this little weapon right here, which kind of looks like his Generation 1 weapon, though in black instead of silver. And we can put that in his hand. And he also comes with this roof shield. And this, this is pretty all right. It does have a little bit of paint splash right there. But this doesn't look too bad at all. It's got these launchers or thrusters up here at the top that do retract in and out with this little lever right here. Now, how this can be utilized is you can actually peg it onto his shoulder like a riot shield of some sort, or the way I'm going to pose him, slide it down and just attach it to his back, and there you go. But we'll go more into that when we take a look at the figures individually. And we're going to start off with Prowl. Now, Prowl here is a straight-up repaint of Earthrise Blue Streak. I mean, that's all it is. There's no difference in the mold whatsoever. Head sculpts are the same. Face sculpts are the same. The paint application is the only difference. And I thought his clear windows were different, but they look to be about the same tint as well. So if you see my Blue Streak video, you've seen my Prowl video, or what I'm going to talk about with Prowl. But he does look really, really good. He looks so much better than his Siege version. And as much as I tried to like the Siege version, there's just, he's too hollow in the back. I hated the legs. This guy looks great. Great paint applications, great face sculpt. I mean, this guy, this looks like Prowl. Love the police there on the 
door wings, big Autobot symbol right there. The clear lights look really good. I mean, this is a great looking figure. Articulation, just like Blue Streak, the head is on a ball joint, can do a complete 360 and look up and down. Now, be warned, this is a, something I've came to find out from quite a few reviewers, including mine, is the head is really, really tight when you first get this guy. I swear I thought it was going to break it when I first turned it. There was this loud snap when he first turned his head, but other than that, or, or after that, it works really well, very well articulated, but be warned, it is really stiff when you first get this guy out of the package. Now, of course, the arms can do a complete 360 if the door wing wasn't in the way. There is a bicep bend, bicep rotation, and wrist rotation, though, once again, very, very tight. Waist rotation, legs up, down, all around, knee bend, and ankle tilt. And that's pretty much it. I mean, this guy looks fantastic. He's look, going to look great with blue streak and smoke screen whenever I get him on the shelf. I mean, I dig it. I really like this guy. Now let's go ahead and get him transformed into vehicle mode. Transformation is exactly the same as blue streak. First thing we want to do is you got these little flaps here that you want to fold up. And then we're going to peg the legs together. There we go. And then we're going to rotate the waist a 180. Take the chest section, lift this up and out. I'm wrong. Move the arms out of the way. Unpeg those first. Now lift the chest section up. Take this piece right here, fold in. That'll click in place. And then just simply fold this back, bring the legs around, make sure they stay pegged in. Mine always pop loose. Of course, I might have just missed a peg. Let's try this again. Always on cameras when you screw up. So there we go. Bring this out. You're going to collapse the legs together. Like so. So that collapses all in. Now we're going to take the arms, rotate them around to where the wheels are on the outside, and just bring the arms in. Now we're going to bring the arms down. Make sure these tabs are facing out. The light will catch it. There are tabs right there. Bring those down. And I forgot these tabs right here, which are his heels. Now one thing I've noticed with Prowl opposed to Blue Streak the heel tabs actually have locking tabs, so they don't flop around like the ones on Blue Streak. So I kind of press the tab in, so those will flip down, and they actually lock into place pretty good. Now once you get the arms in, everything folded together, you're going to line up this slot to the tab, tab those into the arms on both sides, and then just simply get Prowl all tabbed together and there we have him in vehicle mode. As I said before, he is just blue streak, blue streak with a different paint scheme and these new light bars here on top, which is an extra added accessory that you can remove. But I think this looks very good, very Generation 1. Love the paint scheme. Got to get him all tabbed together. Now, another thing I noticed is Prowl tabs together a lot tighter than Blue Streak. My Blue Streak had a really bad gap right here and here, but Prowl's tabs in just a little bit better. It's not near as bad as Blue Streak. Now, the wheels still look terrible. They're just wheels on clips. I really wish they could have done something better than that. But still, all in all, a very good looking vehicle in very, very Generation 1. Now you can take Prowl's weapon and attach it right here on top of the light bar. There is a square hole that actually lines up with his handle pretty good. So you've got him rolling around with his weapon on top, but I'm not a big fan of that. Now also, once again, I failed to mention in robot mode, you can store the weapon on his back if you peg it in just like so, but who wants Prowl without his weapon? 
So there you go, guys. That is Earthrise Prowl. Now taking a look at Ironhide. Now Ironhide here is pretty much Siege Ironhide with a brand new chest, brand new leg flaps, and brand new shoulders. I'll bring you my Siege Ironhide so you can take a look here. I mean, same head sculpt, same arms, same forearms, just the shoulders are different. Waist, exactly the same. Legs, exactly the same. Feet, the same. Like I said, the only thing difference, only difference, man, I can't talk tonight, is the flaps on the legs and the chest area. And of course, this section right here up top is different on this iron hide. Now, taking a closer look at the figure, he looks really, really good. Very Generation 1. Not a big fan of the clear window. I hate that. He just looks very hollow with the clear, hoping that Toy Hacks will do the same thing for Earthrise Ironhide as they did for Siege, because that looks fantastic. Articulation, just the same as Siege Ironhide, 360 with the arms, rotate at the elbow, elbow bend, head, complete 360 on a ball joint, waist rotation, no, nope, get this thing off, waist rotation, though it's a little tight, you got wrist rotation, legs up, down, all around, there's a knee bend, and an ankle tilt. Really, really good looking figure. No back kibble whatsoever, unless you put on the shield. Now, taking a closer look at the shield again, like I said, it's got this lever right here. You can pull that out for, I don't know, thrusters, or maybe you could pretend that's some sort of blaster. You can peg that into Ironhide's arm. Not a big fan of this shield at all. Now, another option it shows is you could take these sections here and fold them out like so. Take his weapon, peg this in, and now he's got some kind of battle platform reminiscent of his G G1 toy. And let's see, can he do the surfing thing? Kinda. So you got this, which is stupid. So we, we won't worry about that. Now let's go ahead and get Ironhide transformed into vehicle mode. His transformation, exactly the same as the Siege version. We're gonna flip the windshield down fold the head into that, and then you take this back section, fold down, and then you're gonna rotate this section. Well, let's bring the arms up first. Bring the arms up, and up here at the top on the forearms, there's a peg and a slot. So we're gonna match those up. Now, rotate this around, take the legs, and you're gonna take this flap and this flap, fold up out of the way on both legs, Tab the legs together. Easier said than done. Bring the arms around, line everything up. You're gonna take this front section here, fold this up and snap it into place. Line your panels up, tab those in and bring the windshield up. It's on a double hinge, so you'll make sure to bring it all the way up. So you've got that look. Now you're gonna take your shield. You can take Ironhide's weapon and actually place it right here. You have to make sure these little clear pieces are up. Get those pegged in, bring these down. Make sure the handle is back so the thrusters are in. And you're just gonna line up the top of the shield or underneath the shield with the top of the vehicle. You got all the different holes right here that'll line up with the pegs on the shield. So get those all lined up, squeezed into place. The windshield tends to fall down. So get that windshield out of the way first. So get everything pegged in good. Put the windows down. Everything will snap into place, bring the windshield up, and there we have Ironhide in his vehicle mode. And this, it does not look good at all. It's very gappy. It doesn't 
tab in together tight. You squeeze on one side, the other side pops loose. I mean, it's not, it's not very good looking at all. Kind of reminds me of the Generations version. Maybe it was the Thrilling 30 Ironhide. Just very, very gappy and parts for me looking. But if you can look past all that, I mean, there's a lot that Toy Hacks could do. You got all the molded in windows that could be filled in. That black looks terrible. Gold stripe there. Front's not too bad. I like the grill and the lights. Now the wheels, the wheels are, once again, exactly like the Siege wheels. But I had a gift arrive in the mail. These tires from JRC Design. He sent these to me for my Siege Iron Hide and Siege Ratchet. But I'm betting they'll look just as good on this guy. So let's go ahead and unpeg these wheels. Just reach in with your thumb and pull these out. They just tab right in. It's actually come out way too easy. So now he's all de-wheeled. Get in here and I'll show you these tires or these wheels. These look pretty good. He's done a great paint job on the outside with the silver rims or the gray rim. There's one. Let's see. I've got eight of them. So let's get four out and get these tabbed on Ironhide. And they should, oh yeah, it pops right in. And there we go. That looks a lot better. Really adds to the vehicle. Still kind of gappy and parts for me looking. And my God, the back. The back looks terrible. But the wheels, the wheels do add something to it. Now these are stiff. They don't, they don't roll at all. You're going to scoot him around. But I don't know many people that actually roll their transformers around anyway. So there you go. There is War for Cybertron Earthrise Ironhide with JRC Designs brand new wheels. And now for some quick size comparisons, here's the Transformers War for Cybertron, Amazon exclusive Autobot Alliance Prowl and Ironhide with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Prowl and Ironhide, and War for Cybertron Siege Prowl and Ironhide. The Transformers Amazon exclusive Autobot Alliance of Earthrise Prowl and Ironhide is actually a really great set of figures. I was originally going to pass up on these guys because I had the Siege version, but I absolutely fell in love with Blue Streak, and I really, really like this Prowl. Now, Ironhide, I love the robot mode. The robot mode is very Generation 1 cartoon accurate. I really hope Toy Hacks fixes that clear windshield. And the van mode's a joke. Not a big fan of it, but the robot mode is fantastic. And that's how I'm going to display him anyway. So this is one set that I highly, highly recommend, especially for us old G1ers. So there you go, guys. The Transformers Amazon exclusive Prowl and Ironhide. So does the Amazon exclusive Autobot Alliance Earthrise Prowl and Ironhide belong in your collection? Absolutely. These are fantastic figures and great representations of their Generation 1 cartoon selves. I almost canceled this pre-order so many times because I wasn't sure if I just wanted a remolded iron hide and another prowl, but after getting my Blue Streak figure, I love this mold now, and I think it's fantastic. Iron hide, a very good robot mode, very reminiscent of his G1 cartoon self, but not a fan of the vehicle mode, and I absolutely hate this clear windshield that just makes him look hollow. I want to give a big shout out to JRC Design for these awesome wheels. I mean, they look good even in robot mode, and I'm going to put a link to his eBay page in the description of this video so you can pick out a set for yourself. So yeah, if you see these guys, you have the opportunity to get them, don't hesitate. You're not going to be disappointed. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!